Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to do a grass effect text. We'll get started. We'll go to File and go to New, go away for the orientation. I'm going to go to Landscape and just click Create. The lettering, if you come over to your panel and click on the A, I'm going to change it from Arial to aerial rounded mt bold i know everyone's got that and i'm gonna change the points to 200. i'm gonna type in grass and i'm just gonna move into place you can type in whatever word you want to type in as long as as long as it fits on the actual screen then I'm going to go to file and I'm going to click place and the meadow I'm going to put over here. If you want to do this as well, I'll put a link to the images in the description below. Once we've got that, what we'll do is hold control and on the grass or whatever you've named yours, hold down control and left click on it and it will make a selection then what we need to do is make sure we've got the meadow selected and we're going to add a layer mask what that does is because we've got the selection it instantly puts it into a black mask because it's it says we only want what's in the selection so to get rid of the rest it instantly puts it into the black mask now what I'm going to do is deselect that, hold down control and press D. Then we need to make sure that our background colour, our stroke is, is white. Because we're going to paint on the black mask. Now if we click our paintbrush tool in the panel or you can click B and go to brushes. The one I'm going to use is the engraving and it's going to be that one you're going to have to make sure you've got the same settings as me size 40 spacing 15 percent and all the rest 100 except for the rotation at 25 percent and click close then all we've got to do is make sure it's rasterized first i forgot about that I'm painting in the wrong colour, I want to be painting in. And then what we've got to do is before we start painting in white, make sure our mask is selected. Now it'll work better. And then just paint round the edges. And you've got to do it for every letter. With this it doesn't have to be perfect because grass never grows the same length all, all the way through. And with this brush, it's not the perfect brush for this. But the reason why I'm using this brush is because then everyone can take part who want to take part. And I know everyone's got this brush because it's one of Affinity Photo's default brushes. So if you've got a long word, it's going to take you a little bit longer. But for this, it's just a case of going around every single letter. It can get tedious. But the reason why I'm not going to speed this up is because I don't like to edit the actual footage. So when I make a mistake like I did earlier by not making sure my mask was selected, you get to see that. Because the only way to learn, you learn from your mistakes, unless you're me. Because if, if you did everything perfect, and then the whole world will be perfect, and we all know it's not. That's complete fuck up there. And then, we've just got our last two letters. I'll just do this quickly. Last one. 
And then after this step, there's not many more steps to do. This is actually quite easily to get done. And once you've done, if you're not done, just pause the video now till you get your work done. If you are done, then what we need to do is click on the rectangle tool. If you haven't got the rectangle, just hold down left tool and the menu pops up and then pick the rectangle tool from the top. And then what I'm going to do is just put the black um, rectangle overall. So you've got to make sure you've got black as your fill colour. And like before, if you hold control and come over to your layer, layers panel and on the grass, just left click on the A and it'll give us a, give us a selection. And make sure we've got the rectangle selected and we're going to mask that. And then what we're going to do is drop that down to the bottom and click control D. And with the rectangle, click your move tool or you can get that by coming over to the menu or by clicking V. And then we want to just pull that down a bit and out. Now we need to add a couple of effects to this. So we go to filters, blur and motion blur. Oh fuck, I've got to rasterize it. If you haven't got your assistant turned on, you will have to rasterize it. If you right click and just click on rasterize. If your assistant is still turned on, it will rasterize the grass what we've just done in black. And the radius I've gone for 16 pixels with 180 and then just click apply. And now what we need to do is go back to filters again. Go to blur, Gaussian blur, and it will blur it. I'm going to go 15 pixels on that one. And click apply. And now we've just got one more step. Go to file, place, get in the dirt. And just place the dirt over the top of our whole image and drop it down. If you've got where we've moved it, the black area, easiest way to get rid of that, that is just to use your crop tool and just shrink all of the lines, um, all of the edges where you want to. I could have done that just by the corner and click apply and that cleans it up and that's it. It's not an hard feature to get. The brush we was using wasn't the perfect brush, but it's one everyone's got. If this video has helped you and you've enjoyed it, please do subscribe because I could use the subscribers. And if it's helped, give it a thumbs up and please hit the bell to be notified of our next upload. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.